Hi guys, I am Karan Chawda and today we'll, we are going to discuss color models in computer graphics. So, color is an extremely important part of most visu visualizations. It adds another dimension to the objects. Choosing good colors for your visualization involves understanding the properties and the perpetual characteristics of human vision. It is also important to understand how computer assigns color to the various hardwares to, and interpret those assignments. A color model is an uh, orderly system for creating a whole range of colors from a small set of primary colors. There are two types of color models, those that are subtractive and those that are additive. So first we will discuss about uh, what is mixing, additive mixing and subtractive mixing. Uh, the additive mixing generates required colors by mixing two primary colors. For example, mixing red with green yields yellow as we all know. The subtractive mixing generates required color by mixing two secondary colors. For example, mixing yellow and magenta yields red. Secondary colors absorbs unwanted colors and reflects the required color. Additive color models use light to display color while, while subjective models use printing inks. Color perceived in additive models are the result of transmitted lights. Color perceived in subtractive models are the result of reflected light. There are several established color models used in computer graphics, but the two but the two common are the RGB red, green, and blue for computer display, and the CMYK cyan, magenta, yellow, black for printing. Here you here you can see the subtractive color that is uh, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, and here you can see the additive color that is RGB red, green, and blue. RGB color model. The red, green, and blue, that is RGB color models, uh, is used in color CRT monitors and color raster graphics employ a Cartesian coordinate system. In this model, the individual contribution of red, green, and blue are added together to get the resultant color. As we can all see in this equation, uh, red is added with green, which is further added with blue, which yields white. And here, you, um, in this image, you'll see, you can see the intersection of red, green, and blue is yielding white color. And we can also represent this color model with the unit cube defined on R, G, and B axis, respectively. Now we come. Uh, now we move forward to CMYK color model. So this model, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black colors are used as primary colors. This model is used for describing color output to hard copy devices. Unlike video monitor, which is uh, which produce a color pattern by combining light from the screen for um, phosphors. Hard copy devices such as plotters produce a color picture by coating a paper with color pigments. So CMYK, uh, the color model, is the standard color model used in offset printing for full color documents. Because such printing uses inks for the, these basic colors, it is often called four color printing. Where two colors of RGB overlaps, we we can we can see that a new color is formed. As in this image, uh, you uh, you you can see that. Um, where two colors of RGB are being overlapped, a new color is being formed. So as we can see in this uh, picture, the new color uh, produced are the cyan. Here is the cyan color. Blushed red, red called magenta. Here we can see the magenta color. Bright yellow is formed. And a key color that is black. Uh, as you can see here, black is formed. So uh, we can also expect express this effect pseudo algebraically writing rgb for red green and blue and cmy for cyan magenta and yellow and w for white and we will use use this plus sign to mean additive mixing of light and minus sign to mean subtractor of sub, uh, subtraction of light so we have these three equations cyan is equals to green plus blue that is white minus red magenta equals to red plus blue that, that is white minus green and yellow is equal to red plus green that is white minus blue in this picture you can clearly define all these uh, all these three equations so in each equation the color on the left is called the complementary color complementary color of the one at the extreme right okay so for example here we will take an example of the second equation magenta is the complementary color of green so uh, from this equation you can find out uh, which color is the complementary color of which color. Um, we will uh, redo this equation. Cyan, cyan gives us green plus blue uh, which comes from white minus red. 
magenta comes from uh, red plus blue which comes from white minus green uh, yellow equals to red plus green equal to white minus blue so cyan uh, so see, cyan is a complementary color of red magenta is complementary color of green and yellow is a complementary color of blue so the process of reflection when we talk of cyan ink we mean uh, we mean ink that when it is applied to white paper and illuminated by white light will observe the red component allowing the green and blue which combine to produce a cyan color to be reflected black as we can see this is the layer of cyan ink and this is white paper and when all the white light white light is incident on it so it absorbs the red light and uh, when it emits it is uh, it emerges as a cyan light if you apply a layer of such an ink to white paper and then add a layer of yellow the yellow ink will absorb the incident blue light so the combination of cyan and yellow ink produces a green color so here in this image we can see here is the layer of cyan ink layer of yellow ink and when a incident white light comes so the yellow ink absorb the blue light and the cyan ink absorb the red light so the emergent light uh, the the emergent green light is produced uh, by the combination of cyan and yellow ink which produces a green color okay similarly combining cyan and magenta ink produces blue a combination of all three color will absorb all incident light producing black here in the middle you can see this is the intersection of all that is we can say that a combination of all three colors will absorb the incident light and which produce a black color so these subtractive primary are the primary colors which the artist working in conventional media must use besides the range of colors that can be produced by mixing a primary colored paint so combining actual inks of the three colors do not produce a very good black on the top of this applying three different inks is not a very good for your paper and leads to longer drying times for these reasons in magazines and book printing the three subtractive primary are augmented with back black the cmyk gamut is smaller than rgb but there is no strict subset there are cmyk colors that fall out outside the rgb gamut and vice vice versa you will also see that because of these because of the different color mixing method and the presence of the black the gamut is not rectangular tri triangular sorry so now we'll discuss our, uh, our next color model that is hsv color model so RGB and CMY color models color models are hardware oriented models in contrast HV HSV color model is user oriented it uses color descriptions that have more in a more intuitive appeal to a user the color specification in HSV model can be given by selecting a spectral color and the amount of white and black that are to be added to the obtain to obtain the different shades tints and tone this model uses three color parameters hue saturation and value hue distinguishes among colors such as red green purple and yellow and saturation the term saturation uh, refers how far color is from a gray of equal intensity for example red red is highly saturated whereas pink is relatively unsaturated the value v indicates the level of brightness yeah hsv model hue or tint in terms of the shade and the brightness hsv model is based on polar coordinates developed in the 1970s for computer graphics hsv is also used in color pickers in image editing softwares and less commonly in image analysis and computer vision h u as stand for u the color type such as red green it ranges from 0 to 360 degree with red at 0 degree green at 120 degree and blue at 240 degree and so on the two representations rearrange the geometry of RGB in an, an attempt to be more intuitive and perpetually relevant based on the color wheel. Saturation of the color ranges from 0 to 100%. Also, sometimes it is called purity of the color. The lower the saturation of a color, the more grayness. As I as I earlier mentioned, um, that saturation refers how color, how far color is from the gray of equal intensity okay as you can say red is highly saturated whereas pink is relatively unsaturated value the brightness of the color ranges from 0 to 100 percent it is not only a transformation of the rgb color space noted hsv and, and hsb are the same please do not get confused hsv color picker is used 
to control the value while the while corresponding slices through the cylinder are displayed and the color is selected by by clicking on a point in the disk as we all know uh, we click on the disk and the color is picked automatically so that's all for today uh, thank you